What's up, guys? You know, I'm sitting here, and the beautiful thing about about what I'm doing in terms of chasing greatness as a speaker, trying to evolve, trying to expand my my imprint on social media, is I'm doing these these auto captions, and <laughs> you don't know how fast you talk. You don't know how much you mumble. You don't know how inarticulate you might be until a robot has to auto caption your speech. So I'm sitting here and I'm going through some emotional um, depths, if you will. And we all, we all go through it. It ain't just me. Right. It ain't just you. We all go through these moments where we feel less than right. If we're if we're feeling good, we might feel average. But there's times when we feel less than all of us, even the greatest amongst the greats. Greats. You know, I deal with I, I mentor and coach many young people, athletes, and many of them are doing amazing, amazing things in their sport. And you'd be surprised how many of them deal with self-doubt and, and depression and anxiety and the inner voice that you and I both have. So it's, it's not unique for you or I to have times where we feel like we're not enough. And for me as a speaker, trying to grow into this role that God's given me to teach, to mentor, to motivate, to inspire, uh, to lead, um, when I have to face my flaws as a speaker, it can be overwhelming and even depressing. So I'm going through uh, one of our, our most recent podcasts, and I'm trying to uh, repurpose the footage for social media platforms, and I'm trying to add captions, auto captions. And so I do an auto swipe where it does, you know, it, it edits it or adds auto captions. And then I go back through it and I edit the words that were, that, that were not captioned correctly. And it is a humbling experience to watch yourself speak on video. And for a, per, for a person who grew up stuttering, it's a humbling experience to see how a robot translates what you speak into words and it's actually good for me to see that and i'll explain why in football and i played for 13 years i played until college one of the best tools you have as a coach and a player is to watch game film one of the hardest things as a player sometimes is to watch yourself on film. But what's crazy about it is it's never as good as you thought it was. So you might have had a good hit in a game or a nice catch or a nice run or you felt especially fluid in a certain movement and you couldn't wait to see the film and it was almost never as good as you remember. But on the flip side, it was almost never as bad as you remember. For me, a, a defensive back, you know, getting beat for, for a touchdown or a catch or, or missing a tackle was almost never as bad because in that, you almost always saw a way to improve, a way to get better. And watching my speaking videos is akin and similar to that. Because although it's actually embarrassing, <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing to watch myself sometimes and to hear how I, how, I, how I sound and to see the moments I talk too fast, I mumble, I'm inarticulate. I don't feel attractive sometimes. 
I feel kind of goofy. I feel like who would want to listen to this knucklehead? In those moments, I can see ways to improve. And that is exemplified or magnified, I should say, by the fact that I have a co-host on our podcast, Aquarius Re- Aquarius Aqu- Aquarius Wave, uh, who, from my standpoint, from my vantage point, speaks much better than I do, right? And we always choose the things that we decide measure ourselves against people. So he might say there are certain things about how we project and communicate that I do better. But from my standpoint, I wish I was as articulate <clears throat> and confident as he is in certain moments. So just like with football, there you see plays where you see a teammate of yours or an opponent who does something on the film that you admire, that you look up to, that you would like to have in your game and it humbles you, but you almost always see a way for you to improve. And when we don't do that in our chase to greatness, when we are too afraid to look at the game film of our life, the game film of our dream, objectively, it's hard to grow, right? I tell people about exercise and I take my shirt off in our workouts and I feel myself shirtless. And I do that in part because I always want to be reminded of where I am at in my current chase to be the best version of myself physically. And so that means sometimes I don't feel as ripped as I want to be, but I still do it. I still go shirtless because that keeps me accountable to myself. If I don't have that game film to look at, why would I ever improve my body? If I never confront the things about my workout or my body I do not like, why would I improve it? So for you guys, I want you to take away from this. I want you guys to create some mechanism by which you can continuously evaluate honestly where you are in your pursuit. It might it might be a video. It might be watching yourself um, in your sales pitch or your presentations. It might be recording yourself in your meetings with your, your colleagues. It might be, you know, going for a run in a tank top to remind yourself of, of the body you want and the body you're not having yet. Um, but it, it humbles you, but it, it reminds you that there's a ways to go, but it also will show you, hopefully, that that there is a way to improve. Like now, I am speaking more slowly, having seen the moments where I talk too fast, having seen the moments where I trailed off or tailed off at the very end and did not enunciate at the very end of my sentence the way I'm doing now. So had I not seen that, had that not been pushed into my face on this video, I wouldn't address it. I wouldn't fix it. So while watching game film can be hard, it should be and can be helpful. So I want you guys to, to do that. I want, you, I want you to figure out a way to objectively measure yourself. Be kind to yourself, but be honest with yourself and then grow through it, grow from it um, and become better because of it. All right, guys. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.